What's up guys? Good morning, good evening, however you are. Welcome back. Guys, make sure you click like, subscribe, ding the bell, comment down below, and thanks for watching. Tour so, review. Yeah. Tour review. Tour review. Tour review. Tour. If so, you are not familiar with tour knives, Josh turned me on to them. I think I had just seen them, but he was like, dude, I am jonesing here. And... Uh, yeah, we got one. Yeah. Um, I, they, they're known for their fixed blades. And they recently just rolled out a collection of folders. And kind of looking at them back and forth, back and forth. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pull the trigger. And I'm so glad that I did. Um, honestly, it's one of the best presented knives that I've ever opened. Um, I'll let you check it out. Um it's pretty epic. They come, it, <clears throat> you open it up, it comes with uh, a little like knife or lens cloth with the Tor Knives logo. It comes with a uh, little tube of frog lube, which is kind of a nice touch. You don't normally see that. It comes with the Tor Knife sticker, which isn't in there um, because I took it out and it's laying on my desk. Um, it comes with this really cool little card with a message from the founder and, um, you know, just kind of like the warranty information. And it says that it's guaranteed for life. You know, you you risk your life um, and depend on your knife. So they guarantee your knife for life, um, basically. Your life depends on your blades. So we get guarantee our blades for life. And uh, really cool. Um, every aspect of this knife is made in the Tor facility in San Diego, California. 100% um, made in the USA. How much does this thing cost? 250 Are you serious? What's the scale material? Titanium. I don't believe you. Does it say here on titanium? It says on their web on the website. Titanium. Okay, I believe you. <clears throat> My goodness, are you kidding me? This is a titanium frame yeah. lock. Guys, the execution on this is on another level. And when you we'll roll in the B roll like we always do, so you can get the close ups of this knife. But let me tell you something. Have you been fooling with it mm -hmm. much? How much? Mm -hmm. Enough to make it where it's smooth? No. I mean, I just got it in like yesterday or the day before. Oh, that's not enough to fix a knife. This. So it's um, titanium, like I mentioned, and it is um, 3.75 blade length. Oh, that's in the tactical realm for sure. That's yeah. a tactical blade. The handle material is 6AL-4V titanium. Certainly. Um, and the steel on the blade is CPM S35VN. Excellent. Tougher than S30V. That's the sort of ultimate high-end steel. Wow. Guy, I mean, you know, the gold, the gold hardware, like the bronzy, goldy, not gaudy, but it's subtle, dude. It is. It is so subtle, and against that flat black, I mean, it has so much depth to it. I, look, so this is a lot like. I mean, it's a lot like a Sabenza. It's a mm -hmm. lot like a Chris Reeve knife. I feel like it's more tactical than a Chris Reeve knife. And it's so, yeah, that, it's like a tactical that, Chris Reeve. It feels more tactical. Looks more tactical. Um, I, I will tell you that I have handled Chris Reeve knives. And um, I was going to pull the trigger on some, but um, this was the reason why I didn't right here. This is half the cost. Made in America. And quite frankly... Um, it's executed very well. It's... 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 And, and for it's me, unbelievable. For me and the, the type of knives that I like. Now, they make this knife in one, one or two other finishes. And they've got some other folders. Um but for me and the type of knives that I like, which you guys will kind of start picking up on the knives that, you know, Greg likes and the knives that I like and the color combinations. This is right up my alley. Their logo is so subtle on there. It's still there, but it's so subtle. Um, and really, there's nothing else besides their one little subtle logo. It's just a... I'm, I'm excited for the B-roll on this. Wait till you guys get a look at how this appears in a close-up fashion and the way it moves light. Guys, this right here is second kind of cool all over it and that takes us right into our review mm -hmm. right so first thing is ergos ergos and 
Ergos are rock solid. That is actual jimping. Mm-hmm. That is actual jimping on that. Yeah, ergo. I was really excited to do the. And I know you're a jimping this. fiend, but that actually has bite with no pain. Mm-hmm. It's almost like they thought about everything when they look made at the this toil, knife. the sharpening toil. Yeah, that's serious, and it goes way past the uh, scale, which is exactly what you want. Um, you know, it the, just seems to me everything on this knife, as far as the design, is intentional. Yeah, and it also comes in a different blade shape. It has a drop point option as well, but the Tonto is just. Yep. Probably want to um, tape off your thumb studs when you go to sharpen. This has some generous thumb studs. Here's another thing I like about that. So many companies have a shorter thumb stud. Mm-hmm. But then when you go to fling it open, a lot of times you skid right off. Well, you know what? If you feel those thumb studs, they're a little gritty on the ends. They are. Um, which, oh, they're actually dished. Yeah, which I really, really liked. Because, again, everything seems intentional. Oh, yeah. That grabs your skin. It's not uncomfortable because it opens so bloody easily. I, guys, I can't believe it. Look, a lot of American manufacturers need to step up their game, and this tour has blown me away. Um, you know, Tell us what your experience is if you've gotten one, but this is the new hot thing. And if it's not the new hot thing, it needs to be the new yeah. hot thing um, because the, the ergos on this, I'm having a hard time saying anything other than, you know, are nearly perfect. Um, the jimping yeah. works. Um, I mean, it's a it's a frame lock. I know my I know my number. <laughs> yep. So it feels to me in the hand very similar to how my Protec Strider felt. Yep. Yep. So you know, it's a little too narrow for me. I like a little bit wider if I can if I can get that. Not not to shame it because I like the aspect of it. That would be the only thing that would slow me down on Ergos is is just it's a little skinny for my ogre hand. Um, but yeah, so ultimately though, this is like a nine out of 10 because it fits well. It flies, the jimping works. Um, you do have good purchase. Yeah. I mean, I, I totally dig that. Yeah. Well, ergos for me on this is 10 out of 10. Um, it's a good whip for me. I like it. Um, how I hold it, it fits good in my hand. Like I said, it reminds me a lot of my Protect Strider, which to me is my most comfortable knife. Yep. Um, just absolutely love this knife. There's not any hot spots that I can tell um, just by holding it. Mm-hmm. Uh, just excellent. Well executed. And that titanium with that matted finish is just it's fantastic. It's sick on a whole nother level. Yeah. It's it's awesome. Dig it. Tactical. Tactical. Okay. Um, it is a more narrow blade, which actually allows for better... Mm-hmm. Right, um, very very pointy tanto. This is a much more tactical tanto than it is an EDC tanto, and there's a there's a big difference. And when we do the B roll, I'll get on that tip and let you see it. Um, this is not the tip you want to be digging into stuff with. No. It's not a cold steel, right? That's not the purpose of this knife. This knife will be good for EDC tasks, but it is a piercer. This is this knife is designed to go in. Yeah, it's a serious blade, and it is. Um, not singular po- purpose, but boy, it's close. Yeah. It is close. Three and three quarter. Three and three quarter puts it right in the tactical sweet spot. Is just below four inches. Um, anything beyond three and three quarter is definitely um, tactical. So, yeah, for me, you know, uh, probably eight out of ten on the tactical side. Um, just because, you know, like we always say, there are faster opening mechanisms, mm-hmm. right? This is an EDC opening mechanism. This is not a tactical opening mechanism. Um, but that doesn't matter. It is uh, definitely an 8 out of 10 when it comes to tactical. Good purchase, good jimping, a piercer. Um, yeah, I, I yeah. totally dig and, and And you're not going to fail when you do the open, by the way, on the thumb stud. No. Like, I haven't, I haven't skid off of it yet. You know what I'm saying? And so... Yeah, I would probably go 8 out of 10 as well. Um, <clears throat> only thing keeping it from higher, again, is the opening and the fact that there's not uh, any kind of guard, you know, if you really had to push into something, your hand's not going to stay on this little toil. It, it could easily slide out. But with the blade shape, how narrow it is, how pointy it is, um, it, get, it came very sharp out of the box. Um, probably, uh, obviously, we get them sharper, but probably the, one of the sharpest knives I've ever opened new. It's definitely working sharp. I think when you get um, 
some of the grail knives like a, actually medford does a great job with that um other grail knives i've had don't quite frankly um and we'll do a review on some budget knives that came razor sharp like um i might be able to strop them sharper um but you know it comes it comes really good working sharp and quite frankly to get a mirror polished edge from a manufacturer you probably have to spend 500 yeah, I haven't gotten a mirror polished edge from very many manufacturers except for um, like a Medford, quite frankly. Most companies don't do it. This has a good, sharp, working edge. It's totally functional right out of the box. Yeah, so 8 out of 10 for me. Yeah. EDC. EDC. So it's titanium. It's chunky. Look how chunky you see on the B-roll. It's chunky. I love that. But the thing is, is like the chunky doesn't keep it from opening. Thank you. Tor, you have outdone yourself. And they're new. Tor's like really new into the knife game. Guys, it's just, it's it's hard to imagine <clears throat> that they accomplished this on an EDC level, um, you know, due to the blade shape. I mean, it's a 7 out of 10, which is a really, really strong number. Um, you know, obviously it's a little long. It's it's very tactical oriented blade. It's not an EDC shaped blade. It is a tanto, <coughs> a thin tanto. Um, designed for piercing and that type of work. Um, perfectly suitable for EDC tasks. I would certainly EDC this blade. Um, but yeah, definitely a solid 7 out of 10 for me. I feel like it deploys well. It opens and closes well. Um, you know, a Tonto is always going to have its limitations for EDC tasks. Um, but yeah, good blade still for that. It comes out of the box sharp. Yeah, it's, it's you know, for a chunky knife... Where's the scale? Um, Josh, can you grab the scale? Let's see. Let's see how much it actually weighs. Because obviously EDC, the lighter the better is kind of the idea. Thank you. Right under five ounces. Yeah. So, you know, three ounces is kind of the magic number for EDC. But this is a full titanium, thick, chunky. So seven out of ten for me on the EDC, which is a really strong number. Yeah. No, I... Yeah. I agree with that. Um, one thing I want to point out is for such a sizable blade and for chunky scales, it really isn't that much pocket space. No, and you know, that's a good point. The ratio is right. Yeah. I OTFs are really bad about this, about not having a, a kind of a golden ratio, which would kind of be like 85% blade to 100% handle. That's sort of the golden ratio in my mind. I think Guardian, 85, 100. Guardian Tactical. Guardian, boy, when we do the review on that. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, but you know what? Some knives just don't have that golden ratio and this certainly does. Gosh, this is, this is really close to the same size as the handle, which I really, really like, um, from an aesthetic standpoint, yeah. right? And a leverage standpoint, the blade feels appropriate for wielding it in the hand. Yeah. Um, don't drop <laughs> probably cause the blade's not very heavy. No, the blade is not very heavy. Um, and as you as you do that, the detent will get a nice little skate ramp built into mm. that blade, and it'll take some of the finish off, and it will drop. Yeah. So seven out of ten for me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that takes us into cool. Yeah, cool factor. Cool factor. You know, with a finish like this, and finish, I guess, has to be considered in cool factor. Well, although yeah. you can get different finishes, right? Um, but they nailed it with this. This coating. Is, did they say what kind of coating it is? Um, Maybe you can look it up. Um, the anodizing on the hardware is spot on. It is the bronzy, light gold. Um, the finish is shimmering everywhere. When you think about pocket jewelry and the contrast to the perfect matte finish and the way the light hits this, I mean, a cool factor on this knife... You know, it's so close to grail territory. And for some people, it might be a grail knife. Um, yeah, it's it's a 9 out of 10 for me in cool factor. It doesn't, it doesn't say... Um, it is stealthy. It has texture. I love the finish of it. I mean, this is fantastic. One thing that's interesting that I'll point out that... It's like, uh, it's like, it's like a powder coating is what it feels like. That they did on this that I didn't... That I've noticed carrying it, but I didn't realize that it was intentional until I'm reading what they have. So their pocket clip allows the knife to sit higher in the pocket for quicker deployment. Of course. That makes perfect sense because that's where 
that's where these type are better because you you have to reach less deep. And like we've talked about, that's which, like a Strider clip. Yeah, exactly what it's like. And like we've talked about with uh, uh, a lanyard and a bead, a lanyard and bead ought to rest on the pinky and give you the extra confidence. In yeah, the purchase. There's the enough pulse. gap there that you could add a small lanyard on one of those. Oh, there's no question. I could, I could, I could weed leather through there without a doubt if I had to. Um, because the way the loops are. So you have uh, different options there. Yeah. Uh, 10 out of 10 for me on this, obviously. Standoffs, not loops. Um, but this is right up my alley. It's a folder that has some class, that's very tactical, very subtle. Yeah. Um, that's one thing that I really, really love is subtleties in a knife, especially when it comes to branding. I know what kind of knife it is. I bought it. I don't need you to put your logo all over it. Um, that's just me. Uh, and what they did was they didn't do that cheap printing no they stamped it they stamped it it is engraved in there with whatever the process is it looks like it was like precision cnc milled it is deep it is an impression it is tiny the usa logo on the other side is engraved deep inside and uh, that's what you should do i i struggle with grail knives that don't do that you know we got the one knife project medford and medford always does a great job putting their m there and their serial number on the back side, and it's engraved. That's how it should be done. Right. It's and not it's, going anywhere. It's not, and it's relatively subtle, um, and that's how it should be. It should not be printed. Guys, stop printing. You charge $500 for a grail knife, and you printed something on there. Yeah. It should be deep, and uh, it should um, be subtle. That, those little thumb studs are aggressive. Yes. Well, I love that. Yes. I mean, you can open the crap out of this knife. Yes. It's, uh, are we at overall yet? Yeah, overall. Nine out of 10. Don't yeah. Have, don't even have to touch it. Nine out of 10. Which is, uh, one of the highest ranked knives we've yet, we've had yet. I'm so impressed with the <sighs> Grail knife features. Get this though, for the price point, the Grail knife features, first run of folding knives ever. <sighs> That's a great point. That's a great point. For those of you who are into the grill knife world, you may not know, but there's there are growing pains with these small American companies that make these really expensive knives that are awesome and cool, and we like the design of them, um, but half of them don't function right. I mean, let's just be frank. It is what it is. They just mm -hmm. don't function right. Uh, they have or, their challenges. Or require break-in. That You know what? I mean, it's a Ferrari. You own a Ferrari, you expect it. It's not an F-150. You know that it's not a Civic. It's a Ferrari. It's mm -hmm. a Lamborghini. It's it's going to have nuance to it. What's interesting about this, this is like, gosh, this is like a, I don't know what you would, this is like a reliable supercar? I mean, what is this? This is like a, um, a Lambo, Lamborghini. Well, Lamb can't even say it, Lamborghini. <laughs> you know, it's a Porsche. Oh, good point. It's a Porsche. It's a scalpel in a um, machete world of execution. And um, it, it functions flawlessly right off the bat in a heavy-duty frame lock. You guys nailed it. Really, really great job. Bravo. Um, I'm excited about this brand. And um, we might have another one showing up at the channel sometime soon. And we'll do a review on it as well. Uh, but this is hot, guys. Hot, hot, hot. Pick one up in whatever color you like. But this black anodized is is fire. Yeah, straight fire. Guys, I'm really excited about that. As always, thanks for watching. Yes, um, we always appreciate it. Yeah, check out Tour Knives and uh, stay sharp. Stay sharp. Yeah. See, see you.